feature presentation, a web series that combines motivation, positivity, and a godly message. It is my great pleasure to announce season five of Motivational Monday! What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Banks, and I'm here with a special guest, Pastor David Franklin. How are you today? Man, I'm great, bro. How are you doing, bro? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Good. So first, first question I want to start off with is, where are you from and what got you inspired to do ministry? Yeah, so I'm originally from Oakland, California. Mm -hmm. And um, man, the story for me to get, you know, kind of getting started in ministry is, is a crazy one. I had actually planned to go into corporate America, had done a couple summer internships, mm. um, and had really planned to, um, uh, you know, kind of, you know, see what I could do to move up the corporate ladder. Yeah. Um, but in, in my first summer internship, I really felt God kind of speaking to my heart and saying that he wanted me to do something different. Uh, but I wasn't ready to listen. And so I ended up going back the second summer, um, even though I really had sensed like God was trying to move me in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that second summer, I was, uh, this was now going into my uh, senior year in college, uh, man, I was sitting on, on the couch of a friend of mine, mm. um, a bunch of guys in the house. Um, he lived in the, in, 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 the, in the city that the college was connected to. And man, I just felt like the presence of the Lord had left me. Wow. Um, and I had never felt that before. I had never felt so alone, even, you know, although I was surrounded by people. Yeah. And uh, I just made up in my mind that moment that I wanted to do whatever God wanted me to do. Amen. And uh, so that night I actually prayed, God, however you want to use me, I'm willing to be used. And that ultimately led me on a journey to enter into pastoral ministry. Wow. And so how long has it been now since you made the decision to, to be a pastor? Man, so, uh, so from that moment, it was another year and a half before I actually accepted the call to be a pastor. Mm -hmm. And it's been 15 years since then. 15 years. 15 years, wow. man. Yeah. So what's the most important thing that you've learned in your 15 years of being a pastor? Uh, man, to trust God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No matter what. Um, what's that? No matter what? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think he calls us to do some incredible things. Um, and often we are, uh, uh, we can be fearful of doing those things. Mm -hmm. We can give them excuses because we are, um, uh, we don't feel like we have the, the talents or the gifts. You know, one of the stories, great stories in the Bible is about Moses and God tells Moses to go tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Right. Well, Moses comes back with all these complaints. He's like, look. I, I'm I'm a man uh, who you know has a stammering tongue. Yeah. You know I don't think I can do this. Why would he listen to me? Right. And ultimately, God's like, no, it's it's not about what you don't have. It's about what I have already given you right. and the power that I'm going to place in you right. that's going to allow you to do what I'm, I'm calling you to do. Definitely. And so that, I've seen that over and over again in ministry that God calls us to take big leaps of faith. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I've just learned to trust him in, 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 in taking those leaps of faith and, and he's continued to show up. Definitely. And it's not always about the how am I going to get it done, but just do it. Yes. You know, stop thinking about it so much. To stop overanalyzing. Stop being double-minded. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't do it. Just do it. You that's know what it. I mean? And once you get to that level of faith and you are in that place, I feel like that's when God does his best work. Yeah. So if there's something, if you just want to inspire people yeah. to, to live their best life, because I noticed that the, the, the word of the, of the uh, next couple months is living your best life. Yeah. If you could say something to somebody out there right now that's trying to figure out, how do I live my best life? What yeah. do you say to them to inspire them to go out and do it? Yeah, so I mean, I really believe that you and all of us really um, were created to live a life that uh, can benefit and bless others. Um, I, I don't think that any of us fully realize our potential. I don't think any of us fully can, uh, can, can have happiness or joy. Um, I don't think any of us really feel fulfilled unless the gifts and the talents that we have are being used to help others um, have a better life. And so that's really my encouragement to you. You know, in fact, here at the church, one of the things we're doing is we're leading people on a spiritual journey mm -hmm. um, to help them actually live their best life. And part of that is to discover your purpose. And then once you discover your purpose, then knowing how to activate that purpose um, in, in, in everyday living, 
um, to ensure that you are actually helping others to improve and improve their lives. So that's what I really feel um, uh, God has called us all to do. And that would be in my encouragement to anyone when you when you discover how God has wired you and and how you can use those gifts and talents to serve other people i really believe that that's when life becomes meaningful yep. and it becomes significant so that would be my encouragement to anybody out there um find that thing find find what god has called you to do and then do it to to bless others and uh, i believe that you will live a fulfilled life definitely definitely as we close just tell us a little bit about grow university yeah. and give us the four principles of of the, the core elements of it yeah so um grow university is something we're launching here uh in april actually you will learn that the best way you can use your gifts the best way you can use your talents the best way you can fulfill your purpose is to actually expend your energies on behalf of others we believe god has uh, a an overall plan for your life you know what you're calling and your mission and your your purpose is but but then we believe God has a plan for each area of your life, right? Mm. So your finances, your your uh, if you're married or if you're single, you know how does God want you to navigate the dating world, right? right? Um, and and we believe since since we've been created by God that that if we live according to His plan, then our lives will be better. And so, Grow University is all about helping people to really discover God's plan in that area of their life and then begin to operate in it. And so there will be different groups that you can join. Again, finances, prayer, Bible study, marriage, singles. There'll be various different groups that individuals can join. Um, and uh, and then it'll be eight to 10 weeks classes that people will wow. um, kind of participate That's in. That's amazing. So yeah. it's all inclusive. Oh, absolutely. And how much does it cost again? No, it's free, man. It's <laughs> free. Totally free. So totally definitely free. go join uh, Grow University. Come to Miracle City Church. Where are we located at? We are located at 100 South Rock Glen Road right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Definitely. Give it to us one more time. 100 South Rock Rock Glen Road here in Baltimore, Maryland. You can also just go to our website, miraclecitychurch.org, miraclecitychurch.org. So I'm here with Pastor uh, David Franklin. It's been another motivation on Monday, trying to inspire you guys to live your best life. Always remember that no matter where you come from, no matter who you are, you can be successful if you put your mind to it, you put God first, and you live your best life. Amen, amen. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. <laughs>